Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today we're continuing on with our Ikoria Limited Guide. We're playing Draft primarily, and today we're looking at Is It Spells? In our previous video, we checked out Orzhov Humans, and then in the video before that was just our general introduction. If you've not seen part one of, or part two of the series, I really recommend that you start at the beginning and work your way through it, as this is now part three. With that all being said, Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into our Is It Spells limited cheat sheet. I've made cheat sheets out for each of the individual archetypes within Ikoria limited. Be sure to check out our resource packages. Links always in the description below so you can get your own copy of this and have it on hand when you're doing your drafts in seals, right? The way these cheat sheets work is we have our spells broken down. I'm gonna take my webcam off for a second just so you can see it right where it says bombs and then we have the bombs of the set and then we go into our high priority picks and our most important cards of the deck have this magic uh, planeswalker symbol on it right here sprite dragon of one mind um, and then forbidden friendship those are the main cards of this deck and then we move into our low priority picks and then our filled deck slash lowest priority picks we also do have some notes for you guys included within the cheat sheet just to give you a general idea of what each deck is doing. For is it spells, we're drawing cards using creatures that receive non-creature payoffs, using removal to allow your attacks through unblocked, cycling only with guaranteed rewards because there's a lot of cycling cards in is it and it might not necessarily be conducive to a winning strategy all the time. There's a big chance of you cycling a card and then ending up with a land in limited, so it's not always ideal unless you've really, really fine-tuned your deck to be a cycling deck, right? And that's not what we're doing with Is It Spells. With Is It Spells, we're playing spells. Um, however, if you do get the pool with the cycling, we've included a couple cards just to teach you how to use that build as well. So again, you can check me out at youtube.com slash game and twitch.tv slash game. I'm live every single morning, 6 a.m. PST. Most importantly, jump in our Discord link in the description below. So. With that all being said, let's move into our game and take a look at some of these cards. We're gonna start with our red commons. We have Blister Spit Gremlin for one. It's a one one, you can pay one plus tap it. It deals one damage to each opponent. And whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap Blister Spit Gremlin. So this is pretty cool. It's a nice way to get consistent chip damage in, right? So that's awesome. Forbidden Friendship, this is really good. This costs two, it's a sorcery. Create a 1-1 one, one red dinosaur creature token with haste and a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. So that's pretty cool. You're getting two 1-1s one, for one card, so it's a, a good way of expanding your value, right? Spell Eater Wolverine for three, it's a 3-2. Three, Spell Eater Wolverine has double strike as long as there are three or more instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. That's pretty disgusting, right? Um, that's gonna do a lot of work for you guys. Moving on, Facet Reader for two, it's a one, two, you can pay one plus tap it, draw a card and then discard a card. Thieving Otter for three, a two, two, and whenever Thieving Otter deals damage to an opponent, draw a card of one mind, the best card in the deck almost. For three, this spell costs two less to cast if you control a human and a non-human creature, draw two cards. That combos really well with Forbidden Friendship. Moving on to our uncommons of the deck, we have Escape Protocol, and this is one of those cards that I was talking about that you probably don't want to pick a lot of the time. But if there's no other picks in your colors, take it because maybe uh, things work out and you can make it work. So it's an enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay one. When you do, exile target artifact or creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. We also have not a lot of enter the battlefield effects. So this is just included because I wanted to talk about cycling, right? We have also Ominous Seas, another cycling card to discuss. Whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on Ominous Seas. Remove eight foreshadow counters from Ominous Seas. Create an 8-8 blue Kraken creature token, and you have cycling for two. So if this card comes up, don't not take it unless there's something better, right? Because we could stack multiple copies of this and actually do quite a bit of damage if we get lucky. However, we don't want to hedge any bets on that. So moving on to Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, our best removal card, an instant 
Blitz of the Thunder Raptor deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. If it's creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. The best card of the deck is Dorat the Perfect Pet or Sprite Dragon. Uh, it has flying and haste. It comes in as a 1-1. One, one. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Sprite Dragon. Oh my god, that's going to get out of control. And it has flying, you guys, a form of evasion. So that's really, really good. Lord Dracus. This is not a required pick, even though it is an uncommon. It's kind of just something you would fill your deck with. It has mutate for two. It's a 2-3. Two, and whenever this creature mutates, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. So this is great to get up one mind back, right? Maybe another forbidden friendship, something like this. Moving on, we have a little bit of flavor text, which belongs over here with our commons, actually. <laughs> it's Pyroceratops, another really good creature in the deck. It costs four, it's a two, three. It has trample, and whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a one, one counter on Pyroceratops. So this is very similar to our Sprite Dragon. Uh, so very, very cool. And then we have a couple bombs included for you guys as well. C Dasher Octopus for three. It has flash and you can mutate it with flash for two. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Awesome, right? Lutri, the Spell Chaser for 3. It's a 3 tooth Flash. It's companion, but you probably will not use it as your companion. And when Lutri, the Spell Chaser, enters the battlefield, if you cast it, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. So that's a really cool late game. If you double a Wand of Mind for 6, that would be insane. Um, it wouldn't even need to be six if you could cast it for its cheaper cost, right? It would only cost you four, uh, so keep that in mind. And if you get lucky enough, you guys, a Rael, uh, the Everwise, a zero three, and Rael the Everwise gets plus one, plus zero for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. So that's really cool. You can kind of see how this deck is shaping up. And remember your pick priorities we do want to build around primarily our Sprite Dragon, our Of One Mind, and Forbidden Friendship. Those are our three highest priority picks. I know it seems weird. Of One Mind and Forbidden Friendship have huge um, sync abilities or uh, synergy uh, perks, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it because they directly affect one another. This is creating a human and a non-human, and then this costs less if you have a human and a non-human. So if you can stack uh, Forbidden Friendship of One Mind and the Perfect Pet, you're going to have one amazing deck, you guys. If you can get a couple Blitz of the Thunder Raptor in there as well for removal, you're laughing. And then Pyroceratops is a card that no one else is going to pick, right? You can pick this later on once all of these other cards have been snagged out of the packs as your primary picks. Again, please remember to refer to our cheat sheet it's up on the screen now. I'll have a link for it in the description below so everybody can download it and have it on hand. It goes through your highest priority picks and just giving you a visualization of what cards need to be included in the deck. So say you get Ariel off the start and you're like, oh my god, this is a great is it card. How do I build a deck around is it? You just flip to your is it cheat sheet. Here it is. There you go. Build your deck and smash out seven wins, you guys, right? That's the plan anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this section of my Ikoria Lair of Behemoths limited draft and sealed guide for beginners. I think it's a great way to help educate everybody. Hopefully these things go viral because they take quite a bit of time to put together. But regardless, I'm not only helping myself be a better limited player, I'm helping thousands of you as well turn up the skill. So let me know if this helped you. Make sure to download the cheat sheets within the link in the description below. Join our Discord, check out our communities, competitions, and giveaways tab, where you can familiarize yourself with all of the different competitions and giveaways, uh, which are totaling almost $3,000 in cash prizes, so you can pump up your Ikoria collection pretty easily. We do have two monthly free entry cash prize tournaments as well, you guys. We have our Artisan Artists, which is the middle weekend of the month, and then our Brawl Bowl, which is the last weekend of the month. Uh, like I said, free entries, pretty sick cash prizes. Um, what else do we have to say before we sign off? Don't forget to comment on this video. Give me a thumbs up if you found any value. And most importantly, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified of our future 
Icoria, Lair of Behemoths, Limited Draft and Sealed Guides for Beginners. Thank you guys all for your continued time and attention. I cannot tell you how much your support means. Uh, truly, we are making dreams happen together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you all tomorrow where we're playing Golgari Recursion. Thanks for watching. Take care. Most importantly, have a great day. If you liked today's video, be sure to check out some of our other content. We built playlists for our guides for beginners, and then we also have our greatest hits, which is a collection of our most popular videos. You can also subscribe if you're interested in winning up to 500,000 gems. So do that, tap that like button, send this out to a friend who you think might be interested in it as well, and have a great day.